हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रोसीजरली चेंज और रीसेट द वर्टेक्स वेट विद द जोमेट्री नोट्स एंड विद माय फ्री प्रीसेट द एक्स्ट्रा नोट्स विद दिस मेथड वी गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस वेलम क्लॉथ लाइक इफेक्ट विद द जोमेट्री नोट्स इन ब्लेंडर सो दिस मेथड इज रियली वर्सेटाइल यू कैन यूज दिस इन एनी यूर प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू ऑल्सो ब्रेक डाउन माई प्रोजेक्ट फाइल्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो लेट्स एड अ प्लेन then uh, we going to add the vertex group and then go to the edit mode and we need to subdivide this plane for few times because we going to use the cloth simulation for this and let's also select this outer edge and we going to assign this a uh, weight 1 okay so that we can use this weight for the pinning in the cloth simulation let's add the cloth simulation to this and here we going to first add the pressure and also we going to add the pin group here in the shape panel so if we run the simulation see we have this let me refresh this yeah it is working fine so now let's increase the pressure maybe around 15 we need to decrease this stiffness around 1 compression is also 1 and shear is also 1 and we going to increase the damping for all these three parameters so let's go to the first frame we need to refresh the simulation nice let's also shade smooth this if we run the simulation you can see that this motion is quite fast but i need that a uh, really nice a uh, wiggle type of motion to this cloth so we going to increase the vertex weight around 5 yeah something like that i think we can slightly increase the pressure yes okay so this is fine now let's go to the geometry nodes we going to add the geometry node modifier to this to make it work we have to move this geometry node modifier before the cloth simulation okay the cloth modifier to update the weight we going to use the store node the store named attribute node add the vertex group here now we need to update the simulation so you can change any of the parameter it going to update the cache or you can add the this viewer node inside this modifier okay see the cloth is fly away because of that pressure and the pin is not working because our weight is zero for whole mesh so let me show you that so this is the weight before this store node and this is the weight after this store node so we have modified the weight so let's add that into this and rerun the simulation see it is working now to change that or to modify that we can use the math node with add operation you can use even the multiply as well or subtract in this case we going to use this add operation and also enable this clamp option so that the weight will remain between 0 and 1 okay here we going to add the noise texture and then we going to add the color ramp node so let's see this texture maybe 2 and 0 something like that and now let's add that into this so this is our total weight or the vertex weight so let's rerun the simulation i think we need to add more contrast update the simulation see it has this kind of deformations see you can even add the image texture here to add a weight or change the vertex weight okay so let's first add a more subdivision to this plane and uh, then we need to also change the pressure for this because uh, of this higher vertex weight if we run the animation 
see it is not that effective so we need to increase this around maybe 35 so let's try this group okay i think we can also decrease the quality step to four okay nice so with this texture let's update the simulation procedural pattern onto this cloth so now let's try the image texture so let's use this one so if we view this texture see it has four copies uh, because it is using the position coordinate we need to add the uv coordinates for this and here we can also add the color ram and then plug that into this now let's run the simulation see we are inflating the logo or we can also invert that okay so in this way you can add the image texture as well to this uh, vertex weight so let's keep this noise now we're going to create that graphics with the free preset of extra nodes to use the extra nodes first you have to assign the extra nodes as sl library in this blender preference and then you can add the nodes uh, from this add menu or from the asset browser okay so let's add uh, the object directional file of node and for the object we're going to add the empty so let's see the fall off so if we move this empty you can see that this fall off is changing okay so here you can define the direction like x axis y axis and z axis and you can also invert the direction okay in this case we're going to animate this now from this position and after let's say 30 frame to this position and also we're going to make this animation linear and let add that to the this group the vertex group and if we see the simulation see it is working but it is working in the opposite way so we have to change this 1 to 0 instead of 0 to 1 okay so let's refresh the simulation so the idea is initially the cloth is flat then slowly it uh, inflate with time okay and now you can also add that image to this let's refresh this see you are basically revealing the logo with this method keep this noise and after this we are going to add the text base fall off to create that text shape inside this cloth so let's add the string to curve node and then type here as so let's see this it should be at the center and we are going to also increase the size then we need to realize this because these are the instances and after that we're going to add the ks spline edge file of node and let me show you this something like 0.12 and with time basically we have to change the vertex weight from this to this okay from this direction base to this spline base so let's duplicate that we have this kind of vertex weight we're going to mix these two with time so let's add the mix node and combine these together and for the factor we're going to use the new node that i have added that is the time based file of node but this is really handy to keyframe the animation inside the geometry nodes and we want this to be happen after the 30 frame to 31 frame so we have this and then it suddenly change into the 
as letter uh, which is not i like so what we're going to do is slowly build this file off with time after this transition so let's duplicate this one here we're going to add the trim node trim curve node we going to untrim the curve with time okay so let's do this from 31 to around let's say 120 frames so this will look like this okay with this the weight look like this okay and if we run the simulation it will look like this it is i think it is slightly slow we can make this transition around 31st to 100 frame so let's rerun the simulation so this is nice let's also store this mask so that we can use this in the shading we're going to blur this so that it will provide a really nice smooth transition something like that and then we're going to store this okay after that let's also add the set material node and let's create a material for this select that material here so now we're going to add the attribute node to get that mask we're going to add the ramp node the color ramp node and let's plug that into the base color let's add some contrast to this and we're going to change this to um, blue and this to pink magenta type make this metallic and make the roughness around maybe 0.05 so now let's see i think we need to add the subdivision modifier after the cloth because our cloth is a low res that's why this kind of artifact is there yeah see it is dissolve that issue You can also change this to maybe a white, something like that. Okay. You can also use uh, any kind of uh, texture like fabric texture that I used in my intro video for this. Another thing I would like to mention is that this method is only work when you have the vertex weight to the original mesh means the mesh that come from this group node if you add a new mesh like a cube or you create some kind of instance based on this mesh then it's not going to work at all okay this may be a bug or limitation of the geometry nodes may resolve in the future uh, but for now it only work for the original mesh so keep that in mind so this is how you can basically change or update the vertex weight with the geometry nodes and with my free preset the extra nodes now i'll break down my project files so here you can see that it has a similar setup we're doing the transition from the object directional fall off to the spline based fall off uh, with this node and i store this as a mask and here i am updating the group uh, based on the noise and also based on this mask and then i restore this mask with blur node so that i can use this in the material so i use this texture for the color as well as for the bump map and then i mix these two materials based on this wave texture to create this material okay
so this is the second project for this first i have created this geometry as i said it only work with the original geometry so what i have did is i use array to create this pattern so let me hide this one so here we have this plane this plane then i have added this subdivision modifier after that i added this array and this second array and after that i added this geometry nodes and here i am using this setup to update the vertex weight of this geometry based on this object directional fall off so let me show you this one see you can see that it has this kind of gradient for each mesh island that i don't want so i have added this accumulate field node with mesh island index as a group id so this node basically giving a one value for whole mesh island see so this is really important otherwise a gradient may create a problem in the cloth simulation so it may push the cloth in different direction because of that gradient so to avoid that i used this accumulate field node and then i have inverted this because initially i want all the cushion in a flat state and after time they will inflate one by one okay we are doing for this cushion so we need uh, two sides for this geometry so i have added the solidify modifier then the cloth simulation and to smooth this i have added the subdivision modifier okay and for the shading so i used this fabric texture from the polyhaven so these are the settings uh, for this cloth simulation so here i use the three quality steps and this much with the vertex weight and bending model i use the angular have lower the stiffness increase the damping and also the pressure and for the shape i use this group so in the collision setting i used both the setting because we need the collision for the ground and also the self collision okay this is it you can get these project files from my patreon page i hope you learned something from this video if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates if you want to support me you can support me through my patreon page or you can buy my presets thank you for watching see you in the next video happy nodding bye